Hello and welcome to the very first tutorial on Solar. Solar is a very popular search engine enterprise tool uh, developed in the project called Apache Lucent and it's a very popular tool for search. And many big names they are now adopting Solar. And the big names include Amazon and Disney, also The Guardian, the newspaper, and Instagram. So you can see that many very popular big names they are now using solar. So it's very, it's going to give you an edge uh, if you know how to install and configure and how to run many stuffs in solar. So this series of tutorials, um, it's kind of dedicated to uh, do some basic stuffs, very basic stuffs with solar. And bear with me. So solar to install this particular tool is not like any regular software tool where you just press a button and that button actually sets up the software for you. Rather, Solar is provided to you from Apache by uh, in, in some zipped format. The distributions are in zipped format. You just need to download the zipped formatted distributions from Apache Lucent uh, websites and then you just unzip them and that's it. So to start with, let's first download that particular zip formatted distributions I'm talking about. In order to do that, you need to go to the Apache Mirror site. The links will be provided at the description of this video. And in this download mirror site, we can see that uh, the current version of Solar is 4.10.2 and we're also going to use this particular version in these tutorials and you just click on them and you can see that uh, Apache has provided many zip formatted solar distributions for 4.10.2 I'm particularly interested in this uh, .zip file so I click solar 4.10.2.zip and it, it asks me to save that particular zip file and you can uh, believe me you can save these particular uh, distributions in zip format anywhere in your system so I have downloaded the zip distributions in my system. It's my home slash shams directory. And in that directory, I just unzipped that particular distribution and renamed that to solar. You can just leave it up to Apache Solar 4.10.2, whatever. But for my convenience, I have renamed to solar. So in this solar package or distribution, uh, you can go inside that directory. You can see that there are many directories called bin, contrib, dist, docs, example, and licenses. And you can also see that there are some files, mostly text files as well. Inside this particular directory, one is very important for us. It's called example. And if you go inside the example directory, you can see a bunch of subdirectories just popped up. And among these directories, one is important called solar. This particular directory represents a simple, simple single core configuration. We also have multi-core directory that represents a multiple core or multi-core configuration example. Another important directory is example slash DIH. It provides examples for the data input handler capabilities. And another important directory is example docs that contains some toy data to play with. And we also have a very important jar file, Java archive file. I forgot to mention that Solar is written in Java. So this particular jar file is called start.jar and in order to run solar in your system you just have to run this particular jar file. Again, uh, uh, it's very important to note that in order to run solar 4.10.2 at least you need Java 7 in your system. So to run this start.jar file we have to open uh, terminal and you need to go to that particular position or directory where you have that jar file in my case it's inside the example directory and whenever you are inside the example directory you just put this command 
call java minus jar and start dot jar that's it whenever you press enter uh, solar is now uh, getting ready to be run for the first time in this machine and you can see there are many lines popping up on your terminal it's trying to read from the configuration file and it is start it is trying to start solar uh, in your machine and you can also um, get access to this particular solar with a user interface to get to the user interface open up your browser and in your browser you just need to type in this particular address which is http colon double slash localhost colon 8983 slash solar slash uh, it's better to put a hash in the end and let me tell you what this particular 8983 thing is 8983 is the port that solar uses to uh, access to the data you're trying to deal with solar now whenever you type that in and press enter you can see that this as the solar is running uh, this is the user interface for you uh, this is the interface uh, by which you can access to so apache solar you can see that there are many information here that are not actually necessary for this tutorial but this is how you actually run solar on your machine so the solar instance is running uh, in order to stop that uh, you have to press Control C again. It's Control C for Windows and Command C for any Linux-based Mac system. So you you press those two keys and the instance is then quitting. And when in order to find out whether that worked or not, you just try to reload that page and you can see that the, it's not able to con connect right now because the solar instance has stopped so that's pretty much the basic installation and configuration for solar this is the first tutorial if you're benefited with this from these tutorials pl please press like and to get more tutorials and updates on this particular product and many other products uh, for the tech tutorial channel you just uh, subscribe to this channel thank you very much